Live image allegedly gives us our first look at the Huawei P60 Pro that Huawei's P60 series is expected to be unveiled next month, possibly alongside the Mate 60 series if the rumors are legit. The P series phones are Huawei's photography focused flagship models while the Mate series has the latest and most innovative technology. In years past, the P series would be released during the first quarter of the year while the Mate line would hit the shelves during the fourth quarter of the same year. So hey everyone, I am Ayush and if you are new here, don't be shy, do subscribe now. In recent years, with the US restrictions against Huawei obtaining cutting-edge chips impacting the company, the manufacturer was forced to alternate between each flagship series every year. For example, in 2021 the Huawei P50 line was released. Last year, the Mate 50 series was launched to long lines and heavy demand. The P60 Pro Live image has a completely different looking camera setup than seen on the previous renders. Recently, there have been various leaks about the Huawei P60 Pro smartphone, including renders and its specifications from various sources. However, a new image claimed to be of a test device of the P60 Pro was posted on social media platform Weibo. This image, shared by Huawei Central, shows a different design for the rear camera setup than what was previously seen in the leaked renders. The photo depicts a rectangular camera module located on the top left corner of the phone's back, with two rings inside the module. The bottom of the device features a USB-C charging port, a single speaker grille, and a camera bump. The phone itself is all white in color. The rear camera setup in the live image of the P60 Pro may seem similar to that of the P50 Pro, however, there is a noticeable difference. The camera module on the P50 Pro was oval in shape, while the module on the P60 Pro test device is rectangular. The P60 Pro is rumored to have a main camera with a variable aperture, like the one seen on the Mate 50 Pro. This allows for adjustments to the depth of field and blur by changing the aperture between f 1.4 to f 4. Huawei's Mage photography system will also be utilized. Reports suggest that the primary camera will be 50MP with a Sony IMX888 sensor and the ultrawide camera will have a 50MP Sony IMX858 sensor. The telephoto camera, equipped with a periscope lens, is believed to be powered by a 64MP Omnivision OV64B sensor. The P60 Pro will be equipped with the latest version of Harmony OS. The P60 Pro will come with Huawei's latest Harmony OS 3.1 pre-installed and be powered by either a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 4G processor or a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 4G chipset. It is rumored to debut with Huawei's new 88W fast charging technology, which could also launch with the Mate X3 foldable. The display is said to be a 6.6-inch AMOLED made by BOE with a 120Hz refresh rate and a QHD plus 1440x3200 resolution. Recently the US announced that it was going to stop approving even more export licenses needed for shipments to Huawei. And this means that Huawei won't be able to obtain the 4G-only Snapdragon chipsets that it had been able to use on recent devices. Huawei is in a tough spot when it comes to sourcing chipsets thanks to the US. The only ray of hope for the company lies in a patent application they submitted for a light source component of an extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography machine. These machines are critical for creating ultra-thin circuitry patterns on silicon chips, with lines thinner than human hair, which are required to manufacture competitive chips compared to those produced by leading foundries like TSMC and Samsung. Huawei filed a patent for an EUV lithography machine component, which is necessary to produce thin circuitry patterns on silicon chips. Only one company currently makes these machines and they are banned from shipping to China. If Huawei can develop their own EUV system, it would be a major breakthrough for them. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? Do let us know in the comments section. Hope you liked and subscribed to this channel. I will see you in next one.